have come here today to ask Ohane Zendigo about Igbo presidency 2023. And at the same time, I want to teach you Fulani politics. I know you don't know Fulani, neither do you know their politics, but I will teach you Fulani politics today. Ohane Zendigo, now that the two major political parties in Nigeria, which is APC and PDP, have disappointed you, by using Atiku Abubakar as their flag bearer for PDP, Ahmed Tinibu as their flag bearer for APC, now that they have disappointed Ndibu, what will be your next move? What is the hope for Igbo presidency 2023? You said if failing to give an Igbo man presidency, you will accept your fate that you are not part of Nigeria. The truth remains that even the best of the earth can attest to the fact that it is the turn of an Igbo man to be the president of Nigeria. But I told you before, instead of Fulani to give an Igbo man the presidency, they will go to the zoo and bring a babu, and crown the babu the president of Nigeria. Now watch. After Ohane Zendi will have gone to the north to beg Fulani to give a Igbo man opportunity to zone the presidency to the southeast, this is the result from the APC. After Ohane Zendi will have presented the credible candidates, according to Ohane Zendi, from the southeast, which is Rocha Sokorocha, Obon Nayono, David Umahi, and Emeka Mwajuba. Pitobi is exonerated here because Pitobi is now in Labour Party. Pitobi even know that PDP, Fulani was not ready to give an Igbo man the flag bearer. Fulani will keep you as a fourth class citizen. Fulani no politics more than you. You are not a smart. You are not smart when it comes to politics. Now watch. After Ahane Zendi will have gone to beg Fulani to give Igbo people presidency. This is the result so far. Rocha Sokorocha got zero votes. Nobody voted for Rocha Sokorocha. Obon Nayo Ono got only one vote. David Umahi, the engineer. They said David Umahi will engineer Nigeria. Engineer inside Potopoto. Engineer inside the Potopoto, 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 Potopoto Fulani have disgraced the engineer. Engineer got 38 votes after serving Fulani. After turning to a slave to Fulani. Fulani. After turning to slave to Fulani, David Umahi got only 38 votes. The engineer that was supposed to engineer Nigeria. And Megawa Juba got one vote. At the end of the day, after Ohane Zendi will finish begging Fulani to give Igbo man opportunity to be the president. Igbo people only got 40 votes so far. 40 votes in the APC primaries. Ohane Zendi, what will be your next move? What will be your reaction? You said if they don't give you president, you will know that you are not part of Nigeria. What will happen next? The reason for this Igbo presidency, because of this same Igbo presidency, that is why the uh, governors in the South is proscribed IPOP as terrorists. Ohane Zendibo, self-determination has never been a crime. Fulani made you to see it as a crime. It has never been a crime and will never be a crime. Fulani protected Boko Boko, rehabilitated Boko Boko, Boko Haram. Sent them abroad. People that killed millions of people, they rehabilitated them. But the same Fulani called you Southeast governors to proscribe IPOP as terrorists. You proscribe IPOP because of evil presidency. See your result. 40 votes. After all the noise making. After all the noise making, you are still a slave. You are still a slave to your master, the Fulani. You call Fulani people illiterate. You are a professor. But those illiterates that wander in the bush are very smart when it comes to politics more than you. See your result. Only 40. 40 he will. This semi war presidency is the reason why Fulani told Hopos Adema to go and bomb Bolu because of ESN. What is the duty of ESN? ESN is inside the farm because Fulani heads men are destroying our mother's crops and raping our sisters. Fulani created the ESN. Fulani said no. Hopos Adema we are bringing a um, bomb, a strike, go and finish them in Olu. Hope Ozodema did not hesitate. He accepted Fulani inside Imo State. And they bombed Dolu because of Igbo presidency. See your result. You are going to remain a slave for eight years. The two major political parties controlled by Fulani people did not produce one Igbo presidential candidate. 
the two major political parties, APC and PDP. P2B know this. That is why he ran away. That was why P2B ran away. You know that Fulani, instead of Fulani to give an evil man the flag bearer, they will go to the zoo and bring a monkey and crown the monkey the president of Nigeria instead of them to give it an evil man. Instead of them to give it to an Igbo man, now that APC and PDP have disappointed Igbo people, what is the fate of Undi Igbo? Except there is another plan. Except you have another plan. Or an Igbo, what is your plan? You are not talking sense. You are not speaking ever, ever since the, the, the disgrace Undi Igbo like this. This is a disgrace. 40 votes. What will you do next? Fulani, Fulani protect their own people. What you do is to destroy your own people, all because of Igbo presidency. Now, see you. See you, Igbo presidency inside Poto Poto. Igbo presidency inside Poto Poto. Now, let me teach you Fulani politics 0101. If you think because Ahmed Tinibu is the APC flag bearer, if you think that Fulani will make Tinibu the president of Nigeria, that means. You are a novice when it comes to politics. That means you are not a good student of politics. You don't know Fulani. Let me tell you how their politics is played out. APC waited for PDP to do their own primaries so that they will know who they will present. As soon as they presented Atiku Abubakar as their flag bearer, Awosa Fulani, they now started doing their internal planning on how they will bring a South Anna. Not even person no. They will bring Yoruba. Instead of them to bring Yoruba person, they will go and look for a dog and crown the dog uh, president in Nigeria. They went and get, they went and get a Yoruba man. That was why you see what is going on. That is why we are, you are seeing what is playing out now. If you think that Tinubu will win Atiku in that election, that means you don't know politics. Fulani don't know how to segregate. They know how to coordinate themselves. They always come in unity. Even if you are in another party, as far as you are their brother, they will vote for you. They have made the winning very smooth for Atiku. They have made this winning a smooth winning for Atiku. That is why they brought Tinibu. If you think that Tinibu will win Atiku in that election, then you are not a good student of politics, immoral politics. You don't even know Fulani politics. Atiku Abubakar stand in as the father of Buhari's son. Atiku Abubakar represented Buhari when his son was doing wedding. That should show you a great signal, a big signal that Awosa believe in themselves, or Fulani believe in themselves. They have made it very smooth for Atiku Abubakar to win presi that presidency, the so-called 2023 president that will happen in the, in the zoo called Nigeria. Smooth winning for Atiku Abubakar. That is Fulani president. That is Fulani politics and Fulani presidency. Fulani government. Ohane Zendibo. Now that they have disgraced Zendibo, disgraced Rocha Sokorocha, now they have disgraced David Omai. What will be the fate of Zendibo come 2023? my wonderful people thank you so much for watching this video together with me i appreciate your massive support in this channel like i said before if it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my youtube channel you are welcome now that we have finished watching this video together you saw me sitting there watching it together with you I appreciate you let's go to the comment section to talk about it if it is your first time subscribe put on your notification bell that notification bell is very very important because it will enable you to know when i upload a new video i will meet you guys again in my next video i appreciate your massive support remain blessed bye bye